Leonardo da Vinci. My dear, if you would close your eyes. Well, Lee, save us the parlor tricks. You asked for my help, I recall. Allow an old man his indulgences. Mademoiselle, where is Jesus sitting? In the middle. Good. He and his disciples are breaking bread. And what drink? Wine. They drank wine. They did. And one final question. How many wine glasses are there on the table? One. The Holy Grail. Open your eyes. No single cup. No chalice. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Considering both the Bible and standard Grail legends celebrate this moment as the definitive arrival of the Holy Grail. Hmm. Now, Robert, you could be of help to us. If you'd be so kind as to show us the symbols for man and woman, please. Oh, no balloon animals. Huh. <laughs> I can make a great duck. This is the original icon for male. It's a rudimentary phallus. Quite to the point. Yes, indeed. This is known as the blade. It represents aggression and manhood. It's a symbol still used today in modern military uniforms. Yes, the more penises you have, the higher your rank boys will be boys. Now, as you would imagine, the female symbol is its exact opposite. This is called the chalice. And the chalice resembles a cup or vessel, or more importantly, shape of a woman's womb. No, the grail has never been a cup. It is quite literally this ancient symbol of womanhood. And in this case, a woman who carried a secret so powerful that if revealed, it would devastate the very foundations of Christianity. Wait, please. You're saying the Holy Grail is a person, a woman? And it turns out she makes an appearance. Right there. But they're all men. Are they? What about that figure on the right hand of our Lord, seated in the place of honor? Hmm? Flowing red hair, folded feminine hands, tint of a bosom, no? Incroyable. Pas tout à fait. It's called Scotoma. The mind sees what it chooses to see. Who is she? My dear, that's Mary Magdalene. The prostitute? She was no such thing. Smeared by the church in 591 Anno Domino, poor dear. Mary Magdalene was Jesus' wife. 